Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Flashback Fridays where we go back into the archive of young Irish filmmakers. Today I have a guest um, with me called Hugh O'Connor, this man right here. How are you doing, Hugh? And he came to work with us a couple of years back on a film called Children and Animals. I'm going to get Hugh to talk about, a bit about it now and then after the film, myself and you are going to talk about how it came to be and where his work is at at the moment in the industry. Okay, Hugh, tell me a little bit about the movie and then we'll get it going. Hey guys, um, I was brought down under false pretenses. Uh, they told me I could do whatever I wanted. Um, I had great ideas, great plans, uh, and they shafted me. Uh, and so I'm very upset about what happened, but I'm here to kind of make, you know, at least clear the air, make amends on Gary's side. I'm sure he will be wanting to do that. And so I'm here to take the apologies that you're giving to me, um, but we'll all learn something from watching this. So thanks for being involved. <laughs> okay, without further ado, um, I'll uh, apologise during the, the movie, but until then, watch the movie and come back later on for more behind-the-scenes action with myself and you. Thank you. I'm Mike Kelly, I'm the Artistic Director of the Young Irish Filmmakers. Uh, we're 25 years going now and it was started to empower young people to make their own films, so make them independent and work at their own uh, stuff. Uh, this year is a little bit different because we got some funding and so the youngsters have been writing a script. Alan sort of finished the script, that was the one that was picked. And so we're going into production. I've been here, yeah, what, five and a half years now? It feels like my second home love it here and it's great working with the young people giving them a chance to make you know stuff they wouldn't be able to make on their own just giving them a chance to get out there and make movies really it's really open and easy like if you have an idea everyone kind of pitches in and tries to see if it can go somewhere and yeah it's good we're like a big a big family here it's awesome the film we're making is called goldman's mind and it's made by one of um the guys here and it's like really, the script is like really cool and I can't wait to do it. The idea for the film, it came from my mind. I don't know where I got it from, but I really don't know where I got it. <laughs> it's a crazy film. I don't know how I got, I don't know what I, what I thought of actually when I came up with that idea. <laughs> it's bizarre, but it's good. I think everybody's really looking forward to working on it. And um, we've got somebody coming in actually. Uh, he's a actor. Um, and he's a director as well. So that should be good. It's a good um, experience for the, for the kids. He's worked with like Liam Neeson and everything. He's been in like movies that I don't know the name of. I feel bad now. Jeez, I hope he's not a dick or anything, but sure luck. Okay guys, thanks for coming. Uh, this is Hugh O'Connor. and he's uh, also an actor. He's been in several films, um, My Left Foot and Lamb, and most recently, uh, The Stag. Um, anybody seen those films? Yep. Yeah. Good, good, Bill. I've seen most of them, and uh, yeah, they're, they're really good. His acting is top notch, and uh, yeah, and maybe if uh, it, it all goes well, we could become friends. Okay. Okay. So you read the script as well. What do you think? You see the script? That's what I think of that script. No offense, Alan. But if we're gonna make a film together, let's do something interesting, you know? Let's not make another shitty little Irish student drama, you know? And let's not start with another shitty little script. I'm so sorry. But if we're gonna do this, let's do something that makes a difference, you know, that affects your lives, issues that matter to you, okay? Because films can change lives. And that's what we can do together. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, 
What is a b big issue for you guys? Um, well... uh, shh, shh, shh. Let me just look this up. Teenager issues. Okay. Uh, teen violence. School shootings. Cyberbullying. Bill, I'm guessing maybe you have some experience in that. Okay. Well, you don't have to share if you don't want to, but... Okay, uh, has cyberbullying affected any of you guys? Uh, one time I uh, liked a guy's honest opinion stats on Facebook and uh, he messaged, the guy messaged me saying uh, you're a prat dickhead wanker, go kill yourself prat dickhead wanker. So Good. And uh, how did that make you feel? I didn't really care. You know, he's kind of a dickhead, so... Well, it happens a lot, and you should all feel really lucky that it hasn't happened more to you guys, okay? No. But look, are you guys with me on this? I think we could do something amazing. So are you up for it? You up for it? Okay! Woo! Fantastic! I can't believe this, we're buzzing! Woo! Okay. Obviously, I'm disappointed. Yep. Cyberbullying is a huge issue, especially for these kids. Yeah, I mean, I want to make it really real, you know? Um, get them to film it on their phones, get inside their heads, you know? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, obviously they know who I am, but they don't seem to have seen a lot of my work. Note to Gary, organize a screening of Lamb. Yeah, I think they'll really like that. Yeah, I was nine, you know, I was adorable. I get killed by Liam Neeson. I was basically who they want to be. Okay, uh, look, we have uh, an issue or two we need to discuss. Uh, one, you want to shoot the film using phones. Yes. Um, no, that won't happen. I I'll tell you why, listen. We have, the parents are sending their kids here. You know, it's a film school. We have equipment yeah. we need to use. Yeah, but that's what kids do these days. I mean, they shoot stuff on their phones. Yeah, kids, are, but parents are paying for this and they don't expect them to be using phones. So this isn't going to happen. No, not for the kid. We can't. It won't happen. Is that okay with you? No. Well, we need an agreement on this. It's got to be okay with you. Okay, what, what else? Next. Okay, uh, the, the copy of Lamb. Yes. I couldn't find one. Uh, well, no, I could find one. But it's on, on VHS. Uh, we don't have a player. Anything else? Well, I think that's about it. That's our kid. We're gonna play a game called Snatch the Children. And of course, Waterworld, it's a classic. Okay, any questions? Now down low. Now shimmy. Yeah, he has kind of unusual methods. Um, I don't quite know. Um... Stevie, whatever I say, you've got to react to, okay? Because acting is reacting. Yeah? Okay. Hi, I've got a telegram for you. Your parents have died. Oh no. I know, I know, you're an orphan. No! Okay, look more upset. Oh no! Okay, no, more, more. Use your eyes. Use your eye ducts. I'm trying. Okay. There you go. That's good. Okay? Yeah. He's fine. Okay, let's move on. 
yeah, if he's hurt, I'm, I apologize, you know, but acting is about accessing real emotions, you know, and I didn't hit him that hard. He treats, he treats the students as shit, actually. It's not very nice. No, he, well, actually, he is a gobshot. Yeah, he is. I don't like him at all, actually. Yeah, so uh, we're shooting first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm shitting it. Uh, yeah, don't, don't use that. I've been thinking about it, and I don't think I'm getting the performance I want from Stevie, you know? I'm not really feeling it here. I think he's someone who could really benefit from some method acting, so uh, I'm gonna start bullying him online. You know, I've set up a fake Facebook account, uh, and I friended him, so yeah, let's get going. Um, Stevie, you are a total dick. Lol. And action, track lurking. Stevie, you long-haired little freak, you're a weasel. Good. Cut, cut, cut the back, the beam is in. Becky, do your job. Okay, say your line, say your line. Tell nobody I like them too. No! I won't lie to you. I'm worried. We're pretty nervous. We don't really have like a, a solid plan as such. He's, he seems to be a troubled man. Molly, you have to come check this out. Hugh O'Connor has been sentenced to community service right here in Kilkenny following his drunken rampage. Nice. I mean, it's not even in focus. <sighs> Enter. Is this true? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I probably should have. I can't believe you. You're like Charlie Sheen in The Mighty Ducks. It's Emilio Estevez. Look, maybe I did come here for technically legitimate but morally questionable reasons, but I'm just trying to make something beautiful. And it's impossible if you're all gonna be such total dicks. Oh, we're being such dicks now. Yes, you are being dicks. So if you're not gonna change your stinky attitude and work with me on this, I'm gonna take this footage and I'm gonna throw it in the fucking river! Fine, go on then. We don't need your shitty movie. Oh, you don't? No. No? Okay, fine. Fine. Good. Good. Well, good. Great. Go on then, yeah. I I'm going. Get the go hell on. out of here. Oh, I'm going. Good. Go on. Good. Okay, yeah. yeah. Fine. Yeah, I'm nice going. Nice knowing you. Get out of my way. Come on. You prat dickhead wanker. Oh, good. Nice one. Nice comeback. Sometimes you try to make a difference and it doesn't work out. The important thing is just to keep trying. It's a shame what happened, but look, we wish him all the best. I think he has problems. Yeah, the thing is, we don't usually have professionals come in and work with us anyway, and I think, like, Hugh O'Connor coming in um, really proved to us why. But Alan's film is all wrapped up now, and we're really looking forward to that. It's looking really good. Yeah, so it's the the shoot is finally over. Uh, we met my film, which is great, great experience. A lot of early starts and, and late nights, but uh, he's up above editing it, and can't wait to see it. Yeah, turn it, turn it much better. That one actually had a script <laughs> that they're kind of useful in the film. <laughs> we somebody brought in. I remember a cake actually at the very last day. We even had a rap party, and, when, and that was really fun. Okay now, so this is the film right here, the masterpiece. I'm going to give you a little sneak preview of it. I'll play it now. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, hi, Susie. Oh, gee, Mark, I was just wondering, what's the story with Goldman's mind? I'm glad you asked, Susie. You see, years ago when Goldman was conceived, his mind was invented. And there's probably even a time before that. Well, Mark, that sure is crazy. I know, right? And you know the craziest thing? There are many mental health issues going around his mind that can be released. 
to kill you. But Goldman's mind is a peaceful place of ideas and imaginations. Να μου κάνετε μια πρόταση με την έκφραση για καλό και για κακό. Εσύ η ανάγκη. Εγώ ξέρω να κολυμπώ, αλλά για καλό και για κακό δεν πάω βαθιά. Μπράβο για να έχει. Just remember, Susie, always be mindful. <laughs> All hail Goldman. So there we have it, uh, children and animals, a lot of fun to make and I hope we didn't break you in the making of it, Hugh. No children were hurt, uh, there might have been some animals present but uh, no, no, no animals were hurt either, I hope. Hugh, tell us, uh, what was it like working with young Irish filmmakers? It was a nightmare, you just saw, you saw what happened. I mean, <laughs> you hung me out to dry. Uh, <laughs> no, it was great, I mean, you know, uh, I think it was Alva Kyogen who got me in touch with you guys. She's a really good writer. And um, yeah, she was the one who kind of, kind of mentioned, I think, me to you guys. And so, yeah, uh, it originally it was going to just be a script uh, that I'd write and then the filmmakers would, would make it. And um, I had a, had an idea for young people about a, something about online bullying that I was maybe going to try and do as a music video idea. Um, so when this came up, I thought maybe that would work. And but but I thought I should come and meet the, the filmmakers and at least talk to them about that idea and see if that's practical and if they even got online bullied themselves. So we did come and sit 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 in, in, in the uh in the in the church of Kilkenny and uh um they said they weren't online bullied and I was like, How dare you? Of course you are. What about you? Are you sure? And um so then we kind of said, Well, what if, you know, I just thought it'd be funny, what if, you know, this was it that we I came to try and make something and force them to doing a thing about online bullying. So yeah, uh, Alan, who who's whose film Goldman's Mind is in there, had already that was the one that I think you guys had just made. Yeah. So it sort of made made sense to kind of pretend like we were going to be doing that one, and then it doesn't get made because I throw it away. But then you end up making it in the end. So that's that's how it all kind of happened. So yeah. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, and I remember that time when you you actually just said, "No, I got it. This is what we're going to do." Because I, you know, <laughs> I, I think that's where the comedy is. I got it wrong, so we'll just go with that. Yeah. Somebody coming yeah, down exactly. and getting it so wrong. And I was like, "Going, that happens all the time. Not <laughs> yeah. all the time, but it does happen." Where you know the industry people come down and they don't just don't yeah. you know it's it's a very different thing making a real not a real movie but how dare uh, you movie, what it, yeah uh, <laughs> then, then making a movie with young people on set because they'll, yeah. just, they'll see right through your your craft yes and that and yeah uh, they'll be very straight with you, <laughs> you know? yeah you can't come in there and, and go, even when we do what i say <laughs> but no i mean even when we were talking about yeah the online bullying idea you could see that they were all pretty low like going no they weren't into it um and i was like hey, you know how are we gonna how are we gonna do this so um but actually once we talked about it being you know, what if it really was that I stop you doing what you were going to do? They actually all kind of got into it then and it felt like a good start. You know, like we we sort of, I think we had a plan from then really. Yeah, I remember the conversation. <laughs> they were into young, it anyway. Yeah, the young people were at the time, they were they're going, oh Jesus Christ, not another cyber bullying, you know, film. Yeah, There's exactly. There's so many of them and they've never gotten yeah. the right, so don't try. No. Like. And yeah. then we're like, okay, then you got it. And they were like, okay, this is it. This is going to be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of <laughs> yeah fun. it was fun. It was great and fun, and he, you know, even pretend, yeah. you know, that was a pretend slap. Everyone, he didn't really slap Stevie. <laughs> um, Stevie's Stevie's gone on to do great things. I'll have you know, as has Alan what's he actually, up to? Do you know? Um, he is now he's he's. I think he's. I don't know if he's gone on to film. I think he may have gone on to theater studies. I need great. to. I need to get back to you on that one. But I know, like Alan, who wrote Goldman's Mind. Um, yeah. In this movie, he went on to IADT. I think he might be in his third or maybe even final year now. He's doing really well. That's great. So yeah, lots of great old faces there, and it was a, a lot of fun at the time. You know, um, I was kind of interested. You know, and probably a lot of our young people would be interested to know where did your journey start as a young filmmaker? Do you know? There obviously there wasn't uh, Mike Kelly or the gang around where you lived. But what what did you do to start getting into movies? Well, when I was young, I went to a, a, a drama class once a week and um, my dad is a musician and he teaches now as well. And he 
you know, his mum uh, sent him to music and drama classes when he was young. Uh, and so that's what he did with myself and my brother. And the kind of drama classes stuck for me. I, I started sort of acting in, in, I did a film when I was nine and uh, that's the film Lamb that we reference in, in, in Children Animals. <laughs> Can't get it on VHS. Uh, I think it's on YouTube now. Or it, mm. it's actually on the BFI player because um, Bruno McLaverty's um, daughter actually got in touch on Twitter and um, yeah, it's on the BFI player. So there's a proper version of it now, Gary. No, um, but um, <laughs> so so that was, you know, once I had started, you know, I, I kind of acted through my teens, but then I went to Trinity and did drama and theatre studies. And then I... I went to film school in New York to NYU um, and did a wow. year kind of scholarship thing there and then made a short and then came back and I was still acting but then I, I started trying to, to get serious about directing so you know it's taken 20 years to really you know from when I was there anyway in NYU to kind of get to my to the stage where I did direct a feature um, just recently and, and you know to, to go through the shorts and the commercials and the music videos that you have to do you know to kind of get the experience um and uh, you have to be passionate about it too like you, you know because you'll get knocks you'll get told no every way you'll go so um you have to just be passionate about it anyway I mean we talked about this before but it's like you know the only it was something my dad would say actually when he's teaching kids doing music you know he's like is there anything else you can do apart from music that, that you know that you're good at it that you're into and if anyone goes well I'm a good architect he's like do it because you're entering a world of pain um so but you know the people who are really passionate and go no this is what I have to do you know unless you you know continue to then not kind of it doesn't work then maybe you should think about that but you know you have to be passionate and it's such a it's a, such a weird industry and, and especially now where where nothing's nothing's going on it's 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 proved its point <laughs> yeah unless you're a, you know an avid writer who doesn't like going outside in which case yeah you know this is just made for you yes exactly and you know and film is you know development is such a huge part of it so you know you need all you know you need to spend a lot of time and and like i know the scripts i've been working on every first draft is a almost called a vomit draft because it's always bad and uh, you know, you have to even, you know, on shows and animals, I remember doing the first version of that and it was quite different. But, you know, we got there and, and it changed and that's part of the fun, you know, that, that it's so collaborative that, you know, new ideas come in. I showed it to friends of mine who are filmmakers and they had some ideas. And I remember John Butler, I think, was the one who said you should be you should have been arrested for drunk driving and that's why you're there. And, you know, that was kind of like it was all different things that kind of came together. Yeah. And speaking of which, what what are you at at the moment? Like, what's next on the uh, the slate, as they say, for you? Yeah, um, I was acting in a BBC show that was filming in Lahinch when when kind of when everything dropped, uh, when when we had to drop sticks. So, uh, so that's hopefully that'll come back at the end of the year. But um, I've been working on. I've got something coming up. Yeah, that will will go into doing. Hopefully, when things get back going again. Um, that I can't really sort of talk about just yet, but it's it's going to be really exciting. And um, uh, I've been working on a couple of the projects as well. I've been writing. Um, I've got I've got a project with with Deadpan actually, who are a really nice um Irish company who made Moon Boy. Um, so it's uh it's something that I've written, and I'd really be excited about if that was to go. Um, and one or two other things I've been working on as well. I've I've got a small animation project that I'm trying to get going, and so you know it's 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 you have to have five things on the go because one will never go when you want it to. Mm. Um, and the acting has been great for me just to kind of you know to to it's I still love doing it, but it's um you can be a little bit more choosy about what you do, and also it's really good to get both sides of 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 the experience. You know, you still learn from other directors all the time as an actor, and um. And then you kind of feel more for the actors when you're directing them. You you, you know what they're going through. So it's a good thing for everyone, I think, um, to, mm. to do a bit of acting in front of camera. Even Mr. Gary McHugh did a wonderful performance in, in, the, <laughs> in our shorts. So, um, and that was acting. I mean, you know. <laughs> it was. No, I didn't have to reach too far. It was, it was some, sometimes you're put into a role and it's very close to home. So um, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um I'll say no more. <laughs> the, um, no, but what listen, thanks a million. Well, well, nothing, nothing at all. Uh, no, listen, Hugh, thanks a million for um, taking the time out today of your busy COVID schedule. And um, of course. hopefully we'll get to work with you again soon. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And I hope everyone else is doing okay and, and keep working on stuff because uh, cause it, it maybe it, it's a good time to even to develop stuff right now. So yeah, can't wait to see what everybody comes up with. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Cheers. See you. Yeah.